Checked in for Gorgi Dang. Jake Lehman comes in for Walden. And Andrew Wiggins is subbed in for Austin Rivers. McGee, the pass to Easy Breezy. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Robert Covington picks one up. Just rubbing it in their faces with that knock. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer it down. We're coming to you live from the Staples Center. And the DA. Guys, we may see Che on the red carpet soon. He's been rubbing elbows with TV and movie. David, once again, great stuff. Thank you. Greg, the glitz and glamour calling Che. And we've seen a handful of players dabble in Hollywood with mixed success. You just hope it doesn't distract Che from his development process, which has been firing on all cylinders. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. They've got Bell, Culver out there with Rivers. Then there's Walden, and it's Towns in at the center. And for Los Angeles, LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Easy breezy out there with Caldwell Pope. And it's Gasol and at the five. Talk about rookies getting early playing time these days. Uh, were you counted on much your first season? You had a terrific rookie year, obviously, but I'm, I'm guessing you did. You, you were counted on early. Yeah, you know, for the high draft picks, you're usually going to go to a team that, that really needs your help. I was just blessed that I had great veterans, Hall of Fame veterans. When you look at guys like uh, Chris Muller, <laughs> how about that? I was right. able to watch him practice and work and take care of his body. The trust Prewell, Billy Owens, all the great players, Avery Johnson. So I was counted on to do a lot, but those guys helped me do a lot, and they pumped confidence into me. I was able to steal their style, their work ethic. Now they showed me the ropes the right way, and I couldn't have been blessed with any better veterans for me to start off my career with that. Here's Easy Breezy after the made shot from Axel Walden. Easy Breezy passes to LeBron. And no good. Towns with the defensive effort. Fires at the elbow. And he hits the jump shot. You cannot lose Walden in the open floor. He's too capable of scorching you like on that play. Here's Easy Breezy. He's guarded by Rivers. Easy Breezy passes to Kuzma. Outside for Gasol. Here's Easy Breezy. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Easy Breezy's got five minutes. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Towns. Pass to Bell. And here's Rivers, guarded by Kuzma. Just four to shoot. Goes up the baseline. No good off the front iron. The Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Caldwell Pope kicks to James. And he converts the layup. When you hear the defense, what can you do? James is too strong, too focused on these finishes. Rivers scanning the floor. Inside. Fires from the line. Gasol with the rebound. Are oh, you expecting to make those? They've got to do more to get a hand in his face. This time. And there it is for him. They've come out with guns of blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep reel. Timberwolves trail by five. And here's Rivers. Will it go? And that's two points on the layup. These buckets help Rivers get going. The defense can't allow him to get comfortable from there. Lakers leading by three. Here's Easy Breezy. You saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Bell with the block. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. 
And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. From deep, James. And how about the defense from Walton? A nice job contesting without fouling up. A shot by Colbert. Nobody around. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. The Lakers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Easy breezy passes to James. Over Bell. LeBron shot is off. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. And you look at how Towns is so effective on offense. And it's because he really has the entire package for a big man. Back to the basket, facing up, playing outside or in, off the bounce or on the catch. This guy can do it all. And here is Los Angeles now, following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Here's Easy Breezy. Makes it off the glass. Easy Breezy's got nine. For Minnesota, they've gone five of nine from the field here in the first. And Greg, as you said, it's the skill level of Towns at his young age that is so incredible. Very capable three ball shooter, but he likes backing you down on the block as well. You step back and look at what he can do for a team, and there aren't really any holes in his game. James finds Gasol. Here's Easy Breezy. He's guarded by Rivers. James outside. Six on the shot clock. Over Walden. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And coming up as an only child in difficult circumstances, LeBron James said he had to grow up early and take charge of his life at a young age. Yeah, that's what made him such a, a solid person and a great basketball player. Ever since he sought control of his own destiny, Kevin, he empowered trusted friends along the way. He's paved a new path for players taking ownership of their careers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Mark Gasol. And for the Western Conference, we have a chance now to recognize our Player of the Week, Easy Breezy. Uh, he's really been on his A game lately. You know, the way their offense is set up, it, it really relies on his ability. He sets the tone each time down the floor, and he's been a lot of fun to watch. Here's Easy Breezy. He's got nine. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Chris, there are guys that talk a lot of trash on the floor. You played against some legendary trash talkers. Who stands out in that area when you think back to when you played? And I tell you what, the two guys that are on my mind, they definitely could have talked trash with the best of all time. And that's Pat Beverly. We've seen what he does. He just keeps coming and coming and coming. And that guy, Day Day. Yeah, Draymond Green, the one that plays out there in Golden State. Oh, yeah, he has a mouth on him, too. I, I, I think you heard him. And when you played, who, who was the best trash talk back in your uh, day? Uh, uh, by far, uh, Larry Bird and Gary Payton. Those two oh. guys would talk trash that so much that you would get entertained into their talking and be like, well, what are you going to say next? I'm, I'm having a good time out here. It was always in fun, but trust me, they always wanted to stick that dagger into you, too. Right? And, you, and you, could, you couldn't hide a smile, either. They started getting you going. You could not hide a smile. Uh, I, I couldn't, and that was my thing. I talked trash about, while I was smiling, so maybe no one else knew what I was saying but you. But those guys... Uh, uh, yeah, they, they, they keep you laughing out there. They talk trash about you themselves after they miss the shot. They would talk themselves down or talk to a fan that was uh, talking to them. So it was always entertaining. The best trash talkers talk to everyone, not just to their phone. Here's Horton Tucker after Austin Rivers' score. Lakers working the ball around now. Easy breezy passes to McGee. Shoots over Towns. No good off the back of the rim. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. The game is the first of a three-game season series for these clubs, both looking to take round one. And this first game is always interesting. It's going to give us a sense of what the dynamic between these teams is going to be this season. Here's Easy Breezy following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. Over to the wing for the three. No good from Easy Breezy. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. 
particularly here to start the game. There's Covington. The teardrop falls in. And the Timberwolves lead by six. I mean, you can't allow Covington to beat you on the drive. Given his athleticism, you have to clog up these lanes. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection. Well, it's some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Jake Lehman's checked in for the Timberwolves. LA's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Out left to the wing. Easy breezy. Hits it from three-point range. Easy breezy's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Lakers. Minnesota leading by three. And the pass to Chang. And here's Towns. Six to shoot. He kicks it to Covington. The shot from 20 feet away. No good on that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. This is it to Morris. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Chang. Here's Wiggins. That's in. And he's now three for three and looking sharp. Oh, they tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Timeout called the Lakers. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And that was a shocker. Hard to believe that they dropped the ball, so to speak, on that one. And probably a tough pill for them to swallow. Well, it's just a reminder that nothing comes easy in the NBA. I don't care who you're facing. You're not going to win if you're not at your best. Lakers trail by five. Here's Easy Breezy. 14 points for him. Pass to Horton Tucker. No good that time. Towns with the defensive effort. Covington with the bucket. Now it's a seven-point Minnesota lead. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. Man, how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's Trier. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Yep, that one goes. Morris is such a gifted scorer in the paint. He utilizes both his height and weight to get deep inside. Pass to Lehman. McGee against Towns. McGee with the block. Here's Easy Breezy. Good. Now just a three-point Minnesota lead. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Riggins outside. The pass to Covington. McGee with the block. And we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift. There. You saw what he did. He used that to swap the shot. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. The Lakers have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. That one drops. He ties it up. There's 14 seconds left in the first. Now oh, here's Wiggins. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Phoenix. A floater. A Kogi misses. It'll count. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. We'll get right back to the action when we return. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late-game situations. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. 
And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. We're just wearing them out. I mean, when you space the floor like this, the defense has to run and expend energy. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at Los Angeles. At the two and the three, it's Bradley and Green. JaVale McGee is out there with Markeith Morris. And it's easy breezy in at the point guard position. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, guys. Easy breezy in the last game against the Clippers was phenomenal. He tallied 50 points. And along with what he did on offense, he had a big defensive night as well. This is why he's considered a star player. The way he carried his team was incredible. Kevin, we'll see if he can do it again tonight. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. No, I think he will because he takes being a leader seriously, and it shows in how he approaches things at both ends of the field. And we've seen stars Chris get suspended in the playoffs for having seven technical fouls. Should we modify that rule at all? You know, you know I'm, I, I think it can be tweaked uh, if everyone agrees on it. But, but for me personally, I don't think that we've had enough uh, superstar players get suspended with that rule to say let's change the number. We definitely want superstar players to play in the playoffs, to play for their fans. But, but we also want to keep the integrity of the game. And, and if technicals means uh, I get to yell at the referee more well but then maybe I just have to have more uh, discipline on my end and say wait a minute I can't do this because it's going to hurt the team so uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that yet out to the right wing we're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter and that one's good Walden just focusing on the task at hand that's all you can do oh you know what it is Greg one play at a time that's got to be the mindset especially in such a tight game here's easy breezy that's down the hatch knocks one more to his total that's nine for 15 shooting uh, assists like that have typified their effort today terrific ball movement passes to Wiggins money from the wing Wiggins has got four this quarter. Here's Easy Breezy. 23 points in the game. Green finds James. Here's Easy Breezy. The shot from the low post is good. LeBron's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. Gotta admire the focus. James not allowing the D to get the better of Here's Walden, and Axel Walden slams it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Here's Easy Breezy, back to Gasol. Over Jane, and the Lakers check on two more. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Pass to Walden. Wiggins outside. Pass to Walden. Shoots the three. And Los Angeles with some changes. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Green. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Avery Bradley. And then for Minnesota. Culver comes in for Josh Okogie. And it's Rivers in for Wiggins. Easy breezy passes to Gasol. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Now we get a chance to check out LeBron James. Last season, he played outstanding. Third in assists. And, of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket. Top ten in scoring. And as you mentioned, top three in assists last year. He did a great job of setting the pace, finding the open man, making the simple delivery. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. Outside, Walden. 
And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. And a quick look at how the Minnesota Timberwolves schedule is shaping up. They'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Friday, they head out on the road to face the Suns in Phoenix. And there's the pass to Gasol. They now take the lead. Gasol's got four points in the quarter. Showing the muscle, Gasol skilled at powering through the contact and finishing. Rivers passes to Jan. He dishes it to Culver. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Caldwell Pope. For Minnesota, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That free throw missing. Yeah, and Culver's game just screams potential. Already a good score, rebounder, and passer. Now the next step, improving that outside shot. The Lakers in the lead. Caldwell Pope outside. LeBron outside. High arcing shot. Minnesota with the rebound. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And when you think of Jordan Bell, you think of a do-it-all big man. Specifically how strong he is on defense. Great timing for blocking shots, good hands, and can guard anybody out on the floor. Can finish plays as well when moving at the hoop. Now here's Walden. 26 points for him last game against Phoenix. Yeah, his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the course too. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. He lobs up the LU pass. Reading the court well. Leave someone open on AW squad, and you're going to pay. Los Angeles calls timeout. Chris, you have been passionate about honoring those who blaze the trail for today's NBA, like the Globetrotters and the Wrens in the days before integration. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the Here's Tri A shot that time, not on target. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You know, Easy Breezy has been exceptional here, guys. Well, he was putting on a passing clinic in that first half, set up a lot of their mates. Yeah, yeah, he was very creative in how he orchestrated the offense. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. We've got Colton. Bell is out there with Walden. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. And it's Rivers in at the point guard. Walden wide open. They get the rebound. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Towns. And from day one, Towns has been one of the NBA's top post players. A versatile, well-rounded game on the low block. It doesn't hurt that he can step outside and knock down the jumper either. James finds Kuzma. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Kuzma's got the lead up to six now for the Lakers. I tell you what, he came out of that locker room raring to go. Pass to Culver. That's good. He's five for nine. And how about the balance there from Culver? Really good at staying in control despite the D being all over. To the right side. Here's easy breezy. It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves trail by four. Pass to Walden. 
Dishes it to Culver. Pass to Bell. To the inside. Fades back. And that one is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Caldwell Pope outside. From deep, James. A three-pointer is right on target. James has got ten points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Culver with it. 12 points for him. Towns. And off the glass. That one's good. He has seven. Oh, man. Challenging the defense inside with the pass. That's just good ball movement. And shot on the way. No good from Easy Breezy. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Things can turn around in a hurry. I mean, can't they? Last quarter, he was lights out. All of a sudden, nothing's dropped. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Culver. And whenever Carwell Pope is on you, his length is going to be on your mind. You're going to be looking in that rearview mirror, just so good at positioning his body and not fouling his contest. Well, one make in six attempts. I, I think it's fair to say he's had a rough start to this quarter. Timberwolves trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's the pass to Towns. Over Gasol. Another miss by Minnesota. And so Gasol will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. You know, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. It's stolen. Here's Easy Breezy. And off the left breezy. side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. And now an 11-point Los Angeles lead. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. And the rejection by Towns. And his foot movement is what makes Towns such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. Danny Green, he's checked in for the Lakers. And a change for the Timberwolves. Gorky Dames checked in for them. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Passes it to Rivers. That's tipped. Back to Walden. Pass to Rivers. And they get it. Kept alive, Minnesota. And they pick up two. Culver's got four points now in the quarter. And Culver's been aggressive as well. And his shot is going down with consistency. Took him no time at all on that one. 31 points for Easy Breezy. Oh, great ball movement there. Walden kicks to Rivers. Pass to Towns. Back to Rivers. Jang high post. Shot clock at six. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And it's in there. Rivers has got 10. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. On the wing, Green. The pass to Easy Breeze. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Easy Breeze has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. The Timberwolves have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Now, here's Culver. Covered by Green. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the Lakers get called for the foul. And how about the attitude Culver's playing with right now? Doing his best to make things happen on that drive. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And from the line a season ago, 73%. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. JaVale McGee comes in for Mark Gasol. 
And Bradley subbed in for Kyle Kuzma. Timberwolves also changing it up. Robert Covington's checked in for Gorgie Dang. Jake Lehman comes in for Walden. And Andrew Wiggins is subbed in for Austin Rivers. McGee, the pass to Easy Breezy. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Robert Covington picks one up. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer it down. Akogi's checked in for Culver. Here's who read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there's a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's just start with Akeem. <laughs> then we go to Matumbo and Bede. He's from Cameroon. How about after the Kufo, who has Nigerian parents? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we, we can keep on going. How about Abaka help by Siaka? Oh, my goodness. Yes. There's some time to play, baby. And yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball African League. Africa, stand up, baby. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. As well as he's carried himself over the years, I'm amazed by the negativity about LeBron James. I mean, all he's done is eight straight trips to the finals. Sometimes being on top makes you a target. No good on the free throw. Chris, you think about what LeBron's accomplished, not just on the court. You know, his activism, his business acumen. Yeah, shut up and dribble. That's what people want him to do, Kevin, but he's not listening, and thank God for that. It's about his power. It threatens some people. For whatever reason, they love to knock you down a pick. Here's Wiggins, and it's Wiggins with the jam. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's easy breezy. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. For Los Angeles, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. Markeith Morris has checked in for Los Angeles. That's good from Easy Breezy. Timberwolves trail by 14. Here's a Kogi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Towns. Second chance shot. They shoot again. No good on the shot. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip play. Passes to Towns. A Kogi inside the three-point line. And the wing jumper offline. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You gotta be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. Higgins outside. Pass to Towns. Rebounded by the Lakers. McGee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. It's good. Easy breeze. He's got 41. Oh, nice look by Bradley. Moving it to the open man. Timberwolves trail by 19. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to McGee. There's 138 left in the third quarter. Horton Tucker. The pass to Easy Breezy. The dish to Morris. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Robert Covington picks one up. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. He can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. You know, I like Morris. He's a valuable contributor on both ends of the floor. Now, he's a sniper from deep. 
and he can definitely lock you up on D as well. Los Angeles making a switch here. Trier's checked in. Towns kicks to Wiggins. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. The pass to Okogi. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lehman. Another miss by Minnesota. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Here's a Kobe. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And looking now at some numbers for Wiggins. Good season for him last year. He averaged about 17 points a game. Four rebounds and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, G.A., I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him. LeBron, he's checked in for Morris. And that one's good, James. LeBron's got six in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Higgins outside. The 11-footer, and he hits the jump shot. Wiggins has got 14 points for the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. LeBron has doubled. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Caldwell Pope, who's checked in for the Lakers. Jordan Bell's checked in for the Timberwolves. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Lehman. No points in the game yet for him. Passes it to Towns. Shoots over McGee. Towns, no luck. From deep three-point range, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting at a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right at... And meanwhile, Frank Vogel talking to his team. Our closer is now a temple. Intelligence temple. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Timberwolves trail by 21. The four and five are the athletic duo of LeBron and McGee. Easy breezy out there with Trier. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the three set. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Covington against Caldwell Pope. Towns rebounded by McGee. McGee's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Inside. Here's LeBron and the dunk by James. Oh, come on, you can't allow James to get possession down. Well, once he does, he's looking to dunk. The Timberwolves are shooting about 42% so far. Wiggins left side. Kicks to Bell. Pass to Lehman. Five to shoot. On the wing, Wiggins lets the three fly. Buries it from three point time range. Timeout, timeout. And there's one thing that's never been in question Pardon? about Wiggins his ability to be a high volume scorer. And in case you needed a reminder, he's giving you one tonight. Los Angeles calls timeout. Good day, Chris. I heard Commissioner Adam Silver talking about that it strikes him sometimes how isolated players can be with cell phones and headphones and those things wouldn't help them. Uh, is it something that you've noticed or that you're concerned about? Being with my nephews and nieces and friends that are younger <laughs> and kids walking oh, across everybody. the street <laughs> looking at their phones and not even looking both ways. You know your play-by-play -play partner, whoever it might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. You know, Kevin, those are the times. And so I, I, would tell, uh, I would tell Adam Silver, Mr. Commissioner, that's a basketball problem. That's a world problem. How, how are we going to stop yeah. any of that? We're, we're here now. There's, there's no putting that genie back in the bottom, Kevin. Walden, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Marcus Gasol. And, and what a 
journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game. Even, Greg, as he's gone from team to team. You know, he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot. And as he grows older, you, you can see him being a top-level six-man for the rest of his career. James finds the soul. Towns with the defensive effort. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to fall to the shot. And that one, good. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. The free throw drops for Towns. And for a player with his size, Towns has always been very comfortable at the free throw line. And that's a good thing because he finds himself there quite a bit. They double him with Rivers. Pass to LeBron. Six to shoot. Get the shot. And again, no good by the Lakers. To the middle. And Towns, the bucket on the assist by Culver. 14 points for Carl Anthony Towns. How about the recognition from Culver? Terrific at realizing when the defense has broken down. Here's LeBron trying to get open as Kuzma. And that one's good by LeBron. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for his shooting this year. Timberwolves passing it around. And that one, good. 16 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the first half. And here in the second, he's been everywhere. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Easy Breezy. He's guarded by Rivers. Down low. Here's Gasol. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Lakers lead by 18. Starting the soft touch of Gasol. I mean, outstanding in close. He lets the ball glide off his fingertips. And the Timberwolves call timing. You have to like what we've been seeing from Easy Breezy. He's running wild. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his momentum. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Outside, Walden. He kicks it to Rivers. The rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Holy shit, it's straight down. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, I look at only a few players in the league to make. On the pass to Bell. There's the three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Here's Easy Breezy. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his fifth assist in this one. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Now, here's Culver. He's guarded closely, and that one is good. I'll tell you, Culver has an array of moves once he gets into the paint. Caldwell Pope outside. Passes it to Easy Breezy. Doubled by Culver. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. Timberwolves trail by 20. Pass to Rivers. Now here's Towns. And it goes down two points. Towns has got 15 points here in the second half. An effective combo guard. Rivers has a good sense for when to shoot and when to dish it. Easy breezy passes to Kuzma. Stolen by Rivers. To the paint. Here's Walden. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. There is the unselfishness that coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. 
Here's Easy Breezy. He's guarded by Rivers. Gasol passes to Easy Breezy. Easy Lays breezy. it in without an inch of room around him. Easy Breezy's got six in the quarter. He's kept the integrity of their offense tonight by moving and cutting and scoring every time they've needed him to. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. Yeah, you got to be locked in at all times. Their inconsistent play is a big reason why they're losing. Looking for Kuzma. He gets it there. Down low. Easy breezy. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Culver. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Nice shot by James. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Now, here's Culver, guarded by Kuzma. Basket counts. And that attacking mindset, when Culver sees an opportunity like that, he just grabs it. Towns with the steal. Here's Culver. But he recovers it. Pass to Walden. Fires the three. That shot, no good. And the Lakers go on the other way now. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. No good from Easy Breezy. Timberwolves trail by 18. And Gasol sends it back. Trying to challenge Gasol. Big-time two-way player. He gets it done on both teams. And again. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Now Walden. Hey, Chris, for some guys, playing in their hometown is a dream. But there's also that added pressure, isn't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at least when you play away from home, uh, it's a little more quiet. You don't have to get as many tickets for the game. When I got a chance to play home in Detroit, it was one of the best moments of my life. And I thought to myself, this is a wonderful feeling, but could I have handled it for 15 years in my right. career? I, I don't know. That's 30 tickets a game. Oh, I, I probably would have to go back into the NBA again just to pay for those tickets. But I tell you what, it's fun. And, and for me, a mama's boy, eating your mama's cooking before a game, it is never... Ever. I've never had a better food. Eating her food. I bet. Be to I yeah. bet. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. A nice shot by Culver. And really, that's good defense. In the end, though, Culver just a little better and quicker. Gasol passes to Caldwell Pope. LeBron outside. Shot clock at five. Goes up on the wing and too long on the shot. Timberwolves trail by 21. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead. And they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Easy Breezy. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Towns dishes to Rivers. Now, here's Culver. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Culver's shot is off. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Got it. Nice one there for an easy breeze. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. They get it again. Bell passes to Culver. Back to Bell. Oh. 
And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty dominant. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later. What's up, Shaq here? That was one of the best offensive performances I've seen this year. If you can keep it up, I might even give you one of my nicknames. Hey, Shaq, I'm not mad at that. I'm going to try, Shaq, man. Look, I'm going to keep trying to move you know what I'm saying? But as far as tonight, I think the key was staying aggressive. Once the ball is in my hands, my teammates are always encouraging me to attack. It's phenomenal to be with a group of guys that support each other like we do. And now, you know what that does? It helps us level up. Level up. That might be your new nickname. Big game tonight, Jay. Grabbing the first double-double of your career. How does it feel? It's cool. I mean, I'm more focused on winning the game, but yeah, it feels good to put up some numbers. Is this a new normal for you? A new normal? Uh, I don't know. Could be, but... I don't want to put pressure on myself like that. If it happens, it happens. If not, it's all good. I'm still going to approach the game the same way. So it's no big deal to me. Thanks, Jay. That's it for me. Anyone else? No, oh, good. All right, thanks, guys. Congrats on the win, Jay. Uh, thanks, Patty. I appreciate that. It looked like you were really focusing on setting up your teammates tonight. Was that a point of emphasis for you, or more a matter of making the right play at the right time? I mean, I wouldn't call it a point of emphasis, really. But we stress ball movement on this team. It's a key component to winning, and that's what we're all about. You must be happy with the win, then. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Gotta take on that W for the fans. It gives them something to brag about at work tomorrow. Hey, Chick, can I ask you one more thing? Man, what's up, Ted? How you doing? I'm good, brother. How are you? Good. You set a new career high in assists tonight. How does that feel? I mean, yeah. I love dishing the rock and getting everyone involved in the offense. I take real pride in that. So for me to be able to go out there and do that at a high level and help us win some games, that's what it's all about, Ted. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jay. I was really struggling with the story, and this should help me finish it off. All good, Ted. Hey, give Vinny some, you know, some questions. I will. Better questions. <laughs>